Yeah, but Justin Longmuir has uh, orchestrated another great win. And I think the whole footy world can't wait for 2021 to get underway to see where he can take them. He's joined us after having a, a team meeting and a little break, and now he's back on the boundary line. Now, you'd be pretty happy with that result, Justin. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, lads. Yeah, really happy. Um, I thought it was, a, you know, like I said to the players after the game, we were committed to the contest and committed to... Um, roll and shape today, so I was really impressed with the way we went about it. You also committed to that kicking style of game that you've introduced, and the boys uh, didn't let you down. They hit 90% of the targets despite uh, the atrocity of the conditions, particularly early. Yeah, we want to be a little bit more composed with the footy and be able to shift it a little bit more. And I thought tonight uh, was the first time in a while we've actually taken the game on a little bit more and, and changed angles and you know access the open side and. Um, we thought that you know, possibly they would give that up, so it was a real focus going into the game and I thought the players executed it really well. They're starting to back themselves with the ball. Um, you know, we've been a little bit safe at times this year, so it's been a bit of a focus the last couple of weeks of taking the game on a little bit more and see if we can get a little bit more creative in our offence. And uh, I, thought the, I thought the lads um, showed, showed uh, what we can do tonight. Picked an interesting night to take the corridor on a little bit more, Justin. <laughs> with the conditions, it paid off, though. Mate, congratulations on a, on a really consistent year so far. You guys have, uh, haven't, had, haven't had the peaks and troughs of other teams, but we saw a really spirited team meeting there po post-game. What was your message to the players? Well, it's just started with commitment um, to each other, and that's all I asked before the game was that we had 22 players committed to um, their role and committed to each other, and... Oh, I don't think we had a passenger tonight. They all they all went when they had to go. Um, they all played their their role when they had to. And um, you know, when we can get 18 players on the field connected and communicating and, and, and ex exercising their role, we get that sort of result. And tonight was a good reminder of that. Justin, it was sensational. All your fans back home would be so proud, and you're clearly going in the right direction. So, do you arrive as a coach and say, "I want to play this style of footy"? Therefore, I've got. And, and, then, and then shape it around what you've got, or do you play that way and then try and add to it along the way? Well, we're consist consistently tweaking with the way we play. Um, and I'm, I mean, since I, since I got there, the players have had really great intent with their defensive um, style um, and defensive intent. So we've remodelled the way we defend a little bit, but the intent was there when I got there. So that, that was pretty easy. I, I think the the hard bit has been with the offence and I think that comes back to not being able to um, train as much together this year. Yeah. We've been a little bit slow on our offence and especially um, making the most of our inside 50s. I thought the first three quarters we, we dominated inside 50s but we just lacked that polish to be able to hit a target or finish in front of goal. So that's going to be a big focus um, over the next two weeks but also pre-season so that you know, we can hit the scoreboard a little bit more. It's, it's been a, you know, probably a, our, our main RFI this year. You've got some really good young talent uh, coming through the middle and you've added another one so wrong this year. But uh, Chera has really come on. You must have been absolutely delighted. Uh, uh, almost uh, like a cheer squad leader when you saw that goal go through. I think Dwayne gave it a uh, run for one of the goals of the year. <laughs> yeah, it was my goal of the year. Um, definitely needed it at the time. and. Oh, I think his, his, his case in point I was talking about before, the, the ability to, to take the game on, to trust that trust your own ability and, and play to your strengths. It's, we've seen Chera, Brayshaw, Sarong, um, all, all our players really grow throughout the year to be able to push the limits on what they can do with the ball. And uh, We're only going to get better um, the more, more we play with each other and the more we, we trust our skills and trust our strengths. Super talented, a boomerang with a wet football, but he got it from a 35-year-old in David Mundy. Can he challenge KB? Can he go on and play till he's 40? I don't know. I don't know about that, but um, yeah, well, you know, I'm really happy with the way he goes about his footy on the field, but you know, he's the one along with Josh Carr who are really leading these guys off the field. He, him, and, him and the skipper are two great leaders for our midfield group and um, they're nursing him along really well and teaching him and passing on a lot of their, their experience to, to our young mids. So um, they're in really good hands. Justin, how's Jesse Hogan going? You expect his, uh, what's his future look like at the Fremantle Footy Club? Yeah, I see a strong future for Jesse. Um, you know, we haven't had the, the three tools fit and available a lot this year. Um, you know, we played a bit of wet footy at home as well, which probably kept him out of the side when he came back from that calf injury. So 
Um, you know, we're going to persist with it. We think um, we can play three tools, but the onus is on them to play you know, both sides of the ball. They need to, they need to buy in defensively. And I thought they all did that really well tonight. Um, they, they contributed to um, the way we defended as a team and that created a lot of, a lot of opportunities offensively. Um, you know, all I see with Jesse behind the scenes is that he's really committed to the footy club and really committed to try and get the best out of himself. So, um, yeah, I see a future for him at the footy club. Justin, really appreciate your time. Congratulations. Uh, good luck for the next couple of uh, weeks, but you've done a great job and uh, exciting times ahead.